Hey party people, if you're stuck at home, which I know you are, then join us for a fun creative project. All you need are some paints and a rock. <laughs> Well, because we're all stuck inside and I'm tired of watching Disney Plus again and again and again and again, I thought it would be cool if we did a new fun creative project and that is painting rocks. Now, you might be thinking, Brooke, what is so special about painting rocks? Well, I'm here to tell you that it actually is a really fun creative project that you can do at home while you're stuck inside. So the first thing we're gonna do is gather all of our supplies. We went on a little adventure near our house to the beach and we were able to collect all of our rocks that we were gonna paint. Now, this is really fun because there's lots of different rocks you can choose from. You can get a big rock, you can get a small rock, you can get a funky looking rock. My favorite rocks that I like to pick are the ones that are really round and have a big space where I can paint lots of different things on it and have lots of space, lots of flat space to paint. So that's the rock that I got. To make this project, you'll also need acrylic paint, paint brushes, pencils, permanent markers, a cup of water, and a rag to cover your space. Just a quick disclaimer, before you start any craft project, it's really important that you check with your parents before you start. The last step with getting all your supplies is making sure you have a spray sealant. When you're done painting your rock, if you wanna keep your rock outside, you wanna ask your parent to spray the rock. That way, if it rains, none of your creative work will wash away. Now that you have all your supplies ready, we are gonna wash our rocks. We got our rocks at the beach, so they were covered in sand and all sorts of grimy things. So it's really important that you make sure your rock is nice and clean before you start to paint. We also put our rocks outside in the sun after we washed them. That way they got nice and dry before we started. Now this part is really, really fun. This is the part where we get to decide what we're gonna create. Now, since we've been on lockdown, I've been missing out on a lot of my favorite things. And one of those favorite things are Donuts. I love donuts. So what I'm gonna paint is a strawberry donut. Now, you can paint whatever you like. You could also paint your favorite food. You could paint your name. You could paint your favorite person on TV. Pretty much anything you want. Now, let's start creating. Now that we've decided what we wanna create, we're gonna draw it on our rock. So, cause I'm making a donut, I need to take some time drawing some really nice lines for the icing. So I'm gonna draw the icing all around my rock like this, just like so. So that way, when I get my paint out, I know exactly where to make all my lines stop. So there's my icing line. So now we've drawn on where our icing's gonna go and we know where to put our base coat. So for mine, I did about three different base coats. So I'm gonna take my white paint before I put on my pink paint that way the pink will really pop. If you're doing something different, you might wanna do a black base coat or a different color base coat, but I chose white because I think when I put the pink on top, the white is really gonna make that pink strawberry icing look really, really bright. So now that I'm almost done with my first base coat, when I'm done, I'm gonna let it dry for just a few minutes out in the sun, and then I'm gonna put on another layer of paint. I'm gonna repeat this base coat process three times. In order for me to make my strawberry color, I took two parts white paint and one part red paint, and let's see how this pink comes out. Oh, look at that, yum! So I'm just putting, right, putting it right over my white base coat that I did, just like that, so it looks like some really good strawberry icing. Now that we have our icing done, we're gonna let this one dry for just a few minutes before we put on our sprinkles. So I made my icing just a little bit darker and now that that is all done, it's time to do some sprinkles. This is super easy. All you need is a really thin brush and two colors. I chose blue and white for my sprinkles. So let's get started. I'm gonna take my blue first and you're just gonna wanna make really long lines for your sprinkles like this. I really like the blue because it just really pops against the pink. You can just scatter them all over your donut. Doesn't need to be in any specific place. You might want to do two layers just so your 
sprinkles show up a little bit better. So now that my blue is all done, I'm gonna clean off my brush and my water, wipe it off on my towel, and get ready for some white sprinkles. Yum, look at that. Now, just for our next part, so it pops a little bit more, you can take your small, small paintbrush that you have white paint on, or you can take a permanent marker. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, take one of these and I'm just gonna go around the icing on the outside against the rock where the icing ends and just do a really small line just so the icing really pops. All right, here we go. Now that we're all done painting, what we're gonna do is wait and let it dry. Great job with your rocks, everybody. They turned out so good. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and painting some really cool rocks. Please send us photos of what you've created. We cannot wait to see them, and we'll see you next time on Party Create.